morning, Monday morning. And we're here for another everyday Qigong session. So Monday's Monday morning motivator. Let's see if we can find some motivation and some energy for this morning. Monday mornings for most people, or it used to be anyway, Monday mornings was the start of the week. But I suppose as the world of work has sort of morphed and changed, we've kind of lost that sense of the weekend, the sense of the end of the week for a lot of people because they're working in whatever jobs it is they're working in and they're, they're no longer in that kind of pattern of the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, days of rest as, um, as it used to be. Um, so anyway, Monday morning, it does have that kind of like, oh God, I've got to do stuff, especially now as we're heading back into autumn and then towards winter, the mornings are getting darker. Um, the energy is a bit sort of more down. So we've been doing themes every morning. So Monday morning motivator. Let's see if we can raise our energy, boost ourselves up a little bit and get ourselves ready for the course of the day. So find your shoulder width, feet together, turn at the toes, turn up the hips and settling down through the feet. So first of all, we're going to relax and we're just going to soften the feet, let them spread out onto the floor. Breathing into the belly, letting all the concerns of the day just drift away. Open your ankles, softening the calf muscles, opening the knee joints, allowing the body to move so that everything can find its comfortable sweet spot. Opening up the thighs. Relaxing, releasing, and softening the hip joints. Let the tailbone drop under, opening up the lower back, softening the groin, the abdomen and the waist around here. Elongating the spine, getting the shoulders to rest comfortably over the hips so that the spine is stretching. And the chin's tucked in gently just to support the head, suspend the head. And all the bustle, all the bustles, all the bustles are muscles. <laughs> all the muscles floating in space, and then all, all the bones floating in space, then all the muscles release. Find their, their sense of dynamic tension, so you're just holding yourself upright comfortably without tension, without force. And then just breathe. So start off breathing. Oh, and see wherever that breath is. Whew, it is locking you up. So if you're just breathing into the chest and everything's tight in the chest, just breathe and let that soften. If you need to breathe out through your nose or in through your mouth or out through the mouth and in through the nose, you can do that. Or just try and get it so it's smooth and soft using the nose. And just soften down now through the body, breathing, trying to get your breathing into your belly. Relaxing the mind. Let the mind sink down into the body. Breathing in, bring the hands up to the chest. Come up over your head, stretch up through the body. Hands to the side a little bit and circle the hands down. Breathe in, come up, stretch up. Feel the stretch through the spine. Breathing out, sinking down, sinking into the thighs. Breathe in, opening up the belly, the diaphragm, the chest, stretching up through the spine. Breathing out. Slowly letting the arms circle down, closing down. So we're opening the body as we breathe in. And closing as we breathe out.
everything just chill out, open up. Ooh. Windy this morning. One more. Breathing in the hands to the muscle of the chest. Breathe out, palms to the floor, let the hands sink down. Let yourself just come to rest. Get that breathing into the belly. Opening everything up as you breathe in, closing as you breathe out. And feel the movement through your body. Opening up the belly, the diaphragm, the chest. Feeling the muscles either side of the spine, how they can they open, contract and they expand. As you breathe in, Feeling back against the spine, then breathing in the hands come up to the chest. Breathe out, turn the palms, left hand up, right hand down, sinking into the thighs as you do. Breathing in, closing onto the chest. Breathe out, sink down, but stretch up through the arms, stretch down to the left. Breathing in. And breathe out. One more. And then bring the hands up to the chest. Palms to the floor and push down, just come to rest. And just let the body move so you can find that comfort in the way you stand. Settling down through the feet. Softening the ankles, opening the knees, 
releasing the hips, letting the tailbone drop, spine elongated, shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, chin tucked in, head suspended in space, and breathing into the belly. Breathing out. Just allow whatever it is that's coming up for you, just let it go. Let the mind sink into the belly. All the concerns of the day, you can pick them up later. Just now, we're just getting our body into a fit state, refining the quality of our internal architecture, if you like, refining the quality of the spirit, the chi, and the mind, so that we can deal with whatever's going to come up from a different space, from the center of our being. Allowing our energy just to raise. And then turn the waist, let the arms just swing. And it is the waist that's turning, that's doing all the work. So relaxing down through the legs. If you want more of a workout, then sink lower into the thighs. But watch your knees, don't push your knees too far and don't twist them. Okay, And then just releasing down through the spine, letting the muscles go, the shoulder blades, the shoulders, relax the arms, keeping the head suspended. And then if you want, you can speed up a little bit because we are trying to raise our energy this morning. We say raise the energy it's more refine the quality of your energy so it flows smoother by bringing energy up into your head then you start fueling the supercomputer and you can start chasing a lot more random thoughts because a lot more random thoughts will be generated so that's not necessarily restful and it's not necessarily motivational and it's not necessarily what you need to get your energy going so we're still trying to keep our mind in the belly and we're still letting our energy raise up through the back and then sink back down and out up through the feet and then return up. We're just getting the blood pumping, getting our breathing going and we're helping our blood pump, our heart do its job and the breathing work by relaxing the body in the chest cavity, softening the diaphragm, and opening up the belly as we breathe. And then just feel that swing in your arms, release the arms, release the shoulders, the other shoulder blades. And relax any tension you might have in the neck. Even though the chin's tucked in, we're opening the neck, softening the neck and emptying it. We're just pulling the chin back so that the head will suspend itself, will raise. very very good exercise to play with relaxing the neck relaxing the occiput plate at the base of the skull where it joins in with the spine helps relieve tension headaches and then blockages of energy and chi flowing up into your head and then softening the chest hollowing the chest if you like it becomes empty so that your chi can continue to flow downwards. We don't want stagnation of chi or energy. Okay, swinging the arms out to the side now so the momentum is changing through the body, but we're still remaining released and the momentum is still coming from the waist. So really relax the shoulders now. What we're looking for is all those areas within the body that we're holding ourselves tight, tense and rigid. And then just focusing on those areas very gently, just see if you can just get them to just release and relax. 
because it's those areas where we're blocking ourselves, we're preventing the flow of energy. Because energy is all around us, energy is always, always within us, we always have it. What we do is we allow it to stagnate by allowing the pool to become clogged. It becomes clogged through tension, through habitual practice and uh, habit of holding ourselves tight, tense and rigid. A habitual habit of allowing our minds to run and chase after thoughts, overthinking. And modern work has a habit of pulling your energy up into your head anyway, especially if you're doing work with computers all the time. So we need to make sure that we spend this time bringing our minds back down into the body and relaxing everything off. I might actually put in a challenge or another Qigong set that focuses on that. But for now, just allow the shoulders to release. Allow the arms to swing. Allow the spine to rotate without twisting, without forcing, and let the muscles just release either side of the spine. And then we're going to change, just come to rest. Again, softening down through the body. Excuse me. She goes. Softening down through the body. Softening the feet so they can spread out and feel the ground. Softening your ankles. Opening the knees. The hips. Tailbone drops. Shoulders resting over the hips, the spine elongated. Chin tucked in gently. Then all the bones float in space as the muscles release. And taking your mind down into the belly. Allow yourself to sink into the feet. Breathing in, open up. And breathe out. Closing, sinking into the thighs if you want to work harder. Breathe in, come up, and breathe out. Get a sense of the movement. Find where you're holding yourself tight as you move. And just let that release and relax. And breathe. We're trying to get the movement smooth and even. Your weight evenly spaced on both feet. Relaxing down through the arms to the fingertips. Mind soft. Down to the belly. Find your center.
change. Fingertips just circle round. As your right hand is in front of the face, the left hand comes down to hold the ball. Then turn the waist to the right. Swapping the palms, turning the waist back. Now to the left, turn the palms, cross the hands, and turn. So we're sinking into the quire, relaxing down through the feet, sitting back against the spine, allowing our breathing to fall into a pattern that works, that you're comfortable with. Relaxing down the spine, through the body. And moving from your center. As you square your hips, let the lower hands circle up. So both hands are at chest height. Breathe out, push down, come to rest on the feet, and then closing the hands over the belly. Left hand under right for men, right hand under left for ladies, just sinking down through the body. Breathe, and just allow yourself just to open and close as you breathe. So opening as you breathe in, Closing as you breathe out, softening down through the feet so that the feet can feel the floor and really support you. Softening the legs, tailbone dropped, shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, chin tucked in, suspending the head so all the bones float in space as the muscles release.
goes up by the other fingers at the ends of the arm. down, circle the hands. Showing your breathing in, coming up into the toes, stretching up through the spine. Breathe out, lay yourself a drop. Breathing in and breathe out. Again. One more. And relax. Just give the legs a shake. Shake off the ankles. And we're done. Ah, oh, stretch it up. So, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope you enjoyed the set. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or would like to leave any insight, please leave them in the comments below that would be absolutely fantastic if you could tag share and like this video so we can get qigong out far and wide and start getting people to change their internal um, physical mental and spiritual qualities so that we can create a more harmonious world how much better and how much fun can we have doing that how does it get better than that yeah how much fun can we have playing with that as always on a monday we have our Tai Chi class, beginner's Tai Chi class, starting at 11 o'clock for those who are white dragons. And we have a Sung Gung Chi Gung class going on at two o'clock today. They're the live times. The videos will be posted in the relevant groups um, or you'll be receiving emails. If you're a, a member, you receive the emails um, to the links for the videos so that you can watch them later and play with them at your leisure. Um, other than that, I hope you have a really good Monday morning. If you'd like to find out more about what we do, then head to the website www.3dragonsonline.com. You can also find that we've got a couple of t-shirt designs up there. One like this here, and another one with a red dragon on it, which is pretty cool. Um, not just t-shirts as well, there's all sorts of other things that you can get if you go to the shop uh, and head on from there and check out our designs and see what we've got available. And or if you'd like to support us through Patreon, you can go to patreon.com forward slash playful dragon and just sign up for the weekly videos um, there if you choose. Any support that you give the school would be greatly appreciated, even if it's just a comment and a like, that would be fantastic. Obviously, money is good because it helps us continue to do what we do. Um, I'd like to offer all of this free, but unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> because I've got bills to pay and a family to feed and all of that kind of stuff. So again, any support that you can give us would be absolutely fantastic. And if you'd like to donate to the school, you can also do that 
or message me or have a look for the relevant links. Other than that, I hope you have a really good Monday and I'll be back tomorrow at 7am with another one of these. Take care.